So, you've always wanted a bad Alcazar on your account? I don't blame you. The guy's absolutely fantastic, and today I want to showcase him on my account because I'm finally done with his gear. On top of that, we have a Special Conditions Dragon Tournament, which has Undead as some of the possible factions that we can use. On top of that, with the current gear that he has, on a 1 to 1 ratio, he can work for the clan boss, all the affinities, or at least I convinced myself I can use him across the board. On top of that, he can solo some of the keeps, and possibly there's another place where I can use him to solo. So, all that said, let's jump right into this build and how I maximize the efficiency of a Battle Kazar on my account. So let's start with the gear of my final form battle because I say final form probably going to change over time if I get better pieces but overall it is now working for everything that I want to do. I chose to go with stalwart and immortal. Most of the other builds that I've seen for a solo dragon 20 battle because tend to go with either really fast or like reflex gear but then the problem with that is that it doesn't really work for the clan bars at least not for a one to one ratio. So I decided to stick with this gear for the time being. I made it work but for that time to work you need very high defense so as you can see we have almost 4k defense 194 speed that is to be faster than the ultra nightmare clan boss and faster than the other champions because he is your cleanser we have 74 percent crit rate 75 percent would have been perfect here and a decent amount of crit damage so that we have bigger heals off of the a1 which also comes in pretty handy for the clan boss but also for dragon 20 resistance and accuracy also very important for most of the pve content a side doom tower aim for 250 for each of them and then as for the skills they are all done aoe heal a1 a2 is remove debuffs place continuous heals poisons for two turns on a three turn cooldown this is huge not to mention the passive here where we get 20 percent more damage against targets under poison debuffs this is fantastic for the clan boss and on top of that one of the better auras in the game i think this is huge because 25 percent crit rate means that on a lot of your champions you can afford to go with let's say crit damage gloves and this will add a ton of damage on your clan boss team as for the masteries i just decided to go with something that would uh, benefit for everything all right so we got war master as the tier six then here we have our very fancy steadfast mastery which will prevent him from being targeted against the clan boss and then we have a lasting gifts for more continuous heals and we have master hexer for more poison so i would say that these three right here are pretty much a must for everything that I'm doing in the game with him right now which leads me to the clan boss so let's go over some of these screenshots right here and how I've been using this champion forever basically forever in the lead and I've always had my better results with this champion in there as you can see right here on the recent void affinity I have however let's say tried a martyr in the lead before but never really re-geared these champions to have 100% crit rate after I've lost that precious aura as for the force affinity here are a couple of examples for you guys as well we have uh some of my better results which again were obtained with the battle kazar in the lead even though i tried a bunch of different champions as for the magic affinity we have here again a few different results that i've had but always with the battle kazar in the lead always always i think he is really my best option as you can see right here this one was pretty recent and uh, i do believe this one was actually from uh, this morning then we've got the famous spirit affinity so i've always tried to incorporate battle kazar in there as well you guys maybe will say you should have tried doom priest i did try doom priest but i think the battle kazar overall is still a better option and the way i'm able to use battle kazar on this team is to use two counter-attack champions you're not getting more counter-attacks you're just in fact protecting your battle kazar with a skull crusher which is taking the stun then i do put martyr in the lead or else battle kazar would be the target even though he has the steadfast mastery so this is the only time that i do not put my battle kazar in the lead uh, and martyr will be pretty crucial for this to work so that we get our counter-attack up at the right time and then i cleanse the decrease speed instead of cleansing the stun off of the skull crusher so i have tried many different builds here as well but this seems to be the most 
most consistent and of course with better gear over time it got a lot better so if i keep going backwards here you can kind of see how uh, bad it used to be and with the battle kazar in the lead it never kind of really worked for me so that is the clan boss now let's go over this dragon 20 which is relatively straightforward so we're going to watch the entire run but i do want to highlight a few things here of, of why the gear and everything how it works right so lasting gifts master hexer and the speed and then finally the stalwart set everything is pretty crucial for this to work because remember we're not lapping these champions like uh three times right we're, we're almost going twice before all of them but when they get their increased speed on with the apothecary they're therefore pretty much on par with us in the sense that it's almost going to be a one-to-one -one ratio so you're gonna take some hits that is why you have very high defense these hordens or the hordens on the next wave they can kill you if they don't get enough weak hits they can really really hurt you on top of that you have enough resistance to not get debuffed if you get debuffed if you get stunned you get the decreased defense you will die from this that is why you need a good amount of resistance then you need enough accuracy to place your poisons because if your poisons don't go on you're not going to kill the boss and you're going to die before he gets too strong remember as the dragon takes more turns he's hitting harder and harder and harder so there master hexer is also pretty crucial for those little extra poison debuffs if you don't have that at this speed it is probably not going to work and it doesn't hurt to have master hexer for the clan boss because you have more poisons there as well same thing with lasting gifts even though we have decent heals from our aoe a1 the continuous heals and uh the immortal set the lasting gifts is that little bit of extra you need to survive at this speed so stalwart is handy for the boss but your high defense is what you really need to get past those waves so here we are on the boss himself let's pay attention to how many turns he takes and how much harder he's starting to hit as we go through this and pay attention also to those master hexer procs where we're getting slightly longer poisons like we did right there so that is really important you gotta you got to have everything if you want to do this speed and stalwart set i would suggest you literally hit all of those masteries that i talked about and the uh speed defense resistance and accuracy requirements uh, as we're getting closer here to the end you'll see that he comes a very close for us to die if we would let's say take one more hit we would probably wipe on this which does happen every now and then because you walk in there without having your a2 up therefore you're not placing poisons right off the bat but there it is guys about two minutes and 20 seconds to solo the dragon 20 with battle kazar and the final place i want to showcase him is obviously in the campaign he can solo there as well yes he can do the keeps as well i do believe i've uh, shown that before but like he can do the arcane keep no problem he can do the force keep no problem he can do the mid Minotaur. he can do brutal 12 3 12 6 or whatever he's just not exactly the fastest champion to do it right but like 47 seconds i mean it's acceptable but he can also now and this is the first champion that i have that can do this solo nightmare 12 6 so with these stats and this speed he can do that as well and i think it's pretty interesting so if i would want to be really efficient with my energy i could farm nightmare 12 6 with some food right now i put him solo in there just to kind of like speed this up up. and again here it is going to be relatively slow so if you're looking for a speed farmer this is not an ethos obviously but it still works so i think that's interesting i want to know if you guys are using your battle kazar to let's say solo the campaign or anywhere else i would also love to know your stats in the comments below let um let us know what they are so that other viewers can have something to work towards too or maybe they just want to replicate so that they can do the same thing on their account i also want to know if you guys are using battle kazar let's say solo dragon 20 but also in your clan boss team so like what is everything you can do with your battle kazar the way he is geared let us know in the comments below with that said guys i'm gonna end it right here right after this run is complete which is going to be a reasonable about what one minute and 30 seconds one minute and 26 seconds let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later